Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog, new week. It is almost midnight, I'm drinking coffee. To be, fair, to be fair, I've been working on this for since like 4 o'clock today. I've just been uh, doing a lot of filming this evening and we went and had a lovely birthday lunch for my husband at Mikado and had us some uh, delicious sushi with a friend and uh, yeah, that's all that's really been going on today. And that and just filmed uh, two videos and we are still working on the bedroom, but I thought I'd take a break from all the bedroom redoing and all that to change my purse. <laughs> I thought, why don't we do like a good old what's my bag situation so this is the current purse i'm carrying i got this at dillard's last year right before the pandemic hit and uh, we could still go to the mall and go shopping and all that i got this in lafayette at the uh big nice dillard's there and i got it on clearance it is uh i'm not sure what brand it is i don't really care that much about brands i just saw a purse and it was a good price <laughs> yeah i don't know what brand it is but regardless it is this one and the only reason I'm swapping is because this right here, constant clanking, constantly. And it drives me crazy. I'm always clanking when I walk. But otherwise, this purse is held up beautifully and I love it still. So I'm still going to keep it. But anyways, I need to clean it out and switch. Because another thing I realized is that I don't need a massive purse. I don't really carry that much with me because I have a backpack. If I need to carry more stuff, I carry my little backpack. And just for a nice run around purse, I want something smaller. So I picked up this one from a new day at Target. It kind of has a little, little bit of a Chanel vibe to it and I liked it a lot. It's got some really good sturdy little chains here, adjustable crossbody strap and it has this little closure like this as you flip up and you know pull out and locks. And you know it's just got the one main pocket in here and then a little zipper and then a little pocket on the front but yeah it feels really Really soft, nice quality. And yeah, it's from the New Day brand, which, you know, I've just really been into that brand lately. I don't know what it is about them, but I like everything that they've been doing. I did get some jewelry pieces from them as well at the same Target trip, and I can't remember if I showed them to you or not. So I'll go ahead and just put the pictures on the screen of them here so you can see them. But yeah, let's go ahead and just get everything out of this purse and see what the heck's in here that we need to switch over to the other one and probably throw away because I feel like there's a lot of trash in here, I'm sure. But the bedroom progress has been going really well. I've tied up a lot of stuff in there. And I'm loving the new kind of vibe and color scheme I'm going with. I think it suits the room and just, it's very cozy. I've been making my bed every day. Yeah, who am I? Making my bed every single day when I get out of it and becoming a very productive person with that. Because I really do. That does make you feel like you kind of start your day out right. I always see that in people's like produ productivity vlogs is that they say make your bed and then change out your night, your sleeping clothes. So I've been doing that lately and I feel like it does uh, make me feel better. Even if I'm not getting up at 6 a.m., which I wish I was, but I'm not. Schedule's a little wonky. <laughs> and getting up kind of just whenever. Oh my gosh, the trash that's in my purse. It's really about it. <laughs> Not much in here. Where's my keys? Oh, I guess they are still in the drawer. Or my sister has my house key. Never mind. <sighs> Alright. So yeah, okay. Wow, I've already emptied everything out of here. Basically a bunch of receipts. Lots and lots of receipts. This one is a Walmart receipt, actually. I haven't been going to Walmart very much, so what did I even buy this day? Uh, this is when I bought stuff to make the taco bake uh, for a dinner one night. I bought a bunch of Dr. Teal's bath stuff and a lot of cheese, apparently, and some nail polish. I think that's like the only receipt I got in here. Sorry from one like from a gas station and getting snacks. Yeah, I think this one's just from where I got snacks at a gas station and some straw paper. Let's get an Ulta thing that I sampled some perfume on. Okay, so that is uh, all the trash is in the purse. Oh, nope, some more candy paper and where I had a protein bar and my dirty mask that I need to wash. I did have a little bag of clean masks in my purse and I've gone through all my clean ones so now I just have one dirty one that needs to go in the bath because I've got makeup all over it. <laughs> so I'm gonna throw that in the wash. I love these little uh, universal thread masks from Target. They're very lightweight and just comfortable and they can breathe good in them and they don't hug my face too tight or sit against my skin and they got a little bit of a wire moldable thing and the just the ear straps are so soft 
and it's like five dollars for two so i i've bought a few packs and i take all the black ones and I give my husband the gray ones even though they're a little too small for him and a little big on me i think those are just the medium size but uh, he has a uh, a couple of masks I gave him at work to wear that are reusable. Yeah, let's see. I got one lipstick in my purse. Okay, so now I'm missing a lipstick. It must be in my jeans pocket then, my other lippy. Because it's not in my bag. I'm missing uh, Eclair from Jason Wu. I did find my Milani lipstick. It was shoved into another purse. <laughs> Weirdly, a purse that I didn't even carry, I don't think, or maybe used for a day. But this is the uh, shade tied up in their little, like, sheer lip balmy things. I don't know what these are even called. They look like this. They're beautiful, beautiful packaging, right? And this is the tied up shade. It's kind of a sheer brown tone. And you know what it's a dupe of? The NARS Lip Balm in Laguna. And I think the tone of this one's a little prettier because it's a tad more rosy pink in it. So I, I think it's better than the Laguna Lip Balm. And pff, who's going to spend that much for a lip balm? Not me. This is my kind of vibe right here. And just the packaging is so pretty, even though I don't really love formula. It's just a little too emollient. It, it kind of migrates and doesn't wear very long, but I still think it's pretty. It's just something nice to throw on. So it is a good purse lipstick. But anyways, there's that. Now I know where it is. Oh, here's another pocket. Is it getting shoved in that pocket? Ah, yeah, it's, it's in my purse. Okay, I just missed it. So now everything's out of that purse. So yeah, we had uh, the Jason Wu Hot Fluff Lipstick and Eclair in my purse as well. Another really good purse lipstick because it's just so easy. And these are really cool to carry in your purse because you didn't have time to put your makeup on. These you can use as blush because I think they are, they're marketed as kind of a multi-use product. You can use lips, blush, eyes. It does crease on my lids. I think I, I demonstrated using that in not this past vlog, but the vlog before using it as all over the face for a monochromatic look and it is beautiful but yeah eclair and cannoli are just like my favorites i love them so much so i got both of those i'm gonna leave back there but that, that is a nice like purse product because you can get kind of multi-use out of it you know <laughs> if you're in a hurry so i always keep a eyeglass cleaning cloth in my handbag because that is just something i wear glasses normally <laughs> i haven't worn them all year really because they fog up with my masks so i had wore masks uh wore, wore my glasses in public i just wear them like when i'm working and stuff but i also but i do wear sunglasses so i keep one of these on hand i got like two dollars here ah here's my id <laughs> and uh a thing from my nail salon a little punch card so let me put those in my wallet here and this wallet is from a boutique in colombia medellin colombia south america and it's uh genuine leather it's beautiful and it's i've had it like oh my gosh almost five years now and it, it's held up beautifully let's go ahead and put, oh there's my other punch card for the nail salon i knew i had two <laughs> so this one's got two marked on it and that one's got one so i have to get those to combine it next time i go which will be next week my debit card and then just other my Sephora cards, Social Security, all that kind of stuff in here, and my care credit. I'm going to put my ID back in here. I usually keep the ID in this little just pocket right here. It's easier to get to than trying to get out of the little side pockets. I always struggle getting them out of there. And uh, what's over right here? What is this? Oh, that's my debit card over there. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cash in here, my $2. I don't carry cash or use cash very often. I just use my little debit card a lot. It's one of those you can just boop and go. I love it. It's awesome. If only every place had the little boop thing. I think Walgreens and Target are the only places that have that in my vicinity. So yeah, wallet. And then I have two pairs of sunglasses just in my purse. I, I don't keep a pair in my purse. I just grab a pair as I'm going out the door and I usually keep them by the back door or somewhere or in my bedroom in a drawer but I have quite a few sunglasses but uh, these are the new ones I got at Walmart the other day from what brand was this it's just a I think Foster Grant yeah Foster Grant these are like $10 I think if that and they got snakes on them I mean how cute are these I'm obsessed with them these are just so cute anything with a snake on it I'm gonna be all over it and then these are my newest ones. These are from West End. These are the German Village ones. And I just like how very early 90s they look. And of course black and gold. Every pair of them is black and gold. Because it's basically all I wear. But I love these. I just modeled them on my Instagram. 
Yep, eyeglass model. So I do work with discount glasses and with West Elm or West End a lot on eyeglass campaigns, and uh, these were for their spring summer campaign. I love these. I have I think four pairs from West End, and they are great quality. They always come to you in a really nice case like this to keep them in and of course you get some cleaning spray with every purchase in a cloth so I love that I keep the cloth like two cloths in here for cleaning my lenses and the, the spray one of the things is spray in here for cleaning my mirrors and stuff because it just works great but anyways so I got two pairs of sunglasses in there but I don't need to keep them in there because I don't want them to get broke and I just never carry around the glasses case I store them in it in a drawer or I have them lined up in a drawer where I can just see what I got and go through and last thing in my purse really is 30 cents some packs of puri pure puri I think that's just pure it's stevia and I keep a few packs of that in here just when I go somewhere that doesn't have a sugar alternative for my coffee because I'm a coffee drinker everywhere I go and I got a moist towelette that's antibacterial I do believe in here and a band-aid for blisters because I get blisters easy on my little footsies and yeah that is all that's in my purse <laughs> I don't think I need such a big purse the new guy here and see how it fits and like the only other thing that would be in my purse is my phone Oh, I can't wait for the new laptop to get here. I got three more weeks. <laughs> Anyways, okay, let's go ahead and get everything into the new bag here. I'm not big on expensive bags just because I don't want to commit to one for that long because then I'll feel guilty about not carrying it for like 10 years. <laughs> so I like my little Target bags. I do, I wouldn't mind like having like a Coach one or a Kate Spade, but I don't know. I just, I just really can't bring myself to spend that much on a purse. Because also, I'm rough on my purses. I know I'm going to tear it up or it's going to get dirty or something's going to go wrong with it because I spent that much on it too. And this was like, I think, 25 from Target. I don't know. 25 or 30. So I didn't feel like it was that big of an investment. So if it gets messed up or breaks where I can't fix like the chain or something, it's not that big a deal. Oh, it looks like everything's going to fit perfectly. Yeah. Room for my phone. And Anything else I might want to throw in here? Cool. Fit my sunnies in here when I want to put them in. And any little lippy. My phone probably can fit perfectly in this little front pocket. All right. That's, is that everything? That's everything that goes in my purse? All right. Look at there. Everything's in. It's nice and light. And the metal on it's not super heavy feeling. That's one thing. I do like purses with a lot of metal hardware, but they're always so heavy. This one just, it's just right. And it makes a nice little crossbody and still has that kind of clean style I like but with a little bit of something extra. I like minimalist but with a little something extra. I, I don't know how to describe that kind of style that I'm going for. Simple yet not. <laughs> Just a little extra. Uh, I already brought my jewelry into the other room and put it away so that's why you're not seeing that right away. But anyways tomorrow I think I'm gonna work in my bedroom some more decorating it and all that and putting in some finishing touches. I have ordered a little couch that folds into a bed, like a little futon thing that has a compartment that comes down that has a drink holder in it. Um, so that should be coming May 26th, I believe. And that's going to go in the office and have a nice little somewhere for guests to sleep in there, not just on an air mattress. It's going to make the room look a little more finished because that room is also getting a little bit of overhaul. Living room, I'm just going to reach those decorations. And I do want to tackle my china cabinet in my dining room, which is going to be a project and a half. <laughs> but the bedroom is my main concern because that has ended up being like the room that just gets like stuff that I didn't know where I wanted to put. Otherwise, I've never prioritized the decor in there. So that's why I started with that room to really make sure it gets the best and uh, treated fairly <laughs> among the rooms. And I do need to put some decor back in the bathroom in there I kind of want to get rid of some of the clutter in my bathroom because I had it really really decorated with lots of kind of antique stuff and I just want to have a little less of that because it's just it gets so dusty and you know how bathrooms get damp and dusty and the dust just sticks to everything yeah the same thing happens in here because I get hairspray everywhere <laughs> so there's no just dusting it's like cleaning you gotta get after it with the wet wipes or something there's no just wipe something down because hairspray just glues the dust down really well. But anyway, that is all for today, I think. And um, I'm probably going to go have me a nice hot bath and some Epsom salt. Oh, I got a new pillow, by the way. One that's made for um, neck and shoulder pain. I think it's helping so far. My neck feels a little better. Like today, my shoulder is bugging me a bit, but I was holding my phone for a long time. My neck, shoulder. If I sit there like 
with my hand like this looking at my phone all day it makes that neck shoulder very angry and then sometimes I sleep wrong and this one does it too just not as bad because I don't hold my phone with this one but oh, I can just feel anger oh across my shoulder blades tightness and stiff and you know like your knees pop and cr make little crunchy noises when you squat down and all that my neck and back make that sound and that's probably not a good thing but either way <laughs> hopefully that uh pillar will kick in and help a little better once I get all this these kinks worked out and stretched out nice I do want to try to get to bed a little earlier and not 2 a.m. like I did the last two nights I get some decent sleep and not sleep till noon or past noon and get up and hit the ground running tomorrow I think I have um I know I have one more video for sure I have planned for tomorrow to film and I think there is something else on the list I can't really remember right now off the top of my head I have everything written down my life is in a notebook <laughs> That's the only way of keeping things straight. I guess we'll check in later if I get into anything. Okay, we're back at it in the living room doing some more shopping. <laughs> living room shopping. Shopping my own decor. Immediately, as soon as I start talking, she grabs the toy. Just immediately. Wow. Why she do that to me? Hi, Pumpkin. What you doing? So, I'm still pulling some pieces to the, the bedroom. Put some things back, you know how it goes. And I'm going to start pulling stuff to go into the bathroom as well. All my little shelves in there. And we're just going to fill up our handy dandy laundry basket with stuff. And see how it goes. Do we need a time lapse of all this? I don't think we do because I've been doing plenty of time lapses in that last vlog. And I think they probably get a little boring after a while. And it's just me like sitting here and going through stuff and it's like super slow paced. And the lighting here is kind of shit right now because it's 2 a.m. <laughs> We're living that kind of life again. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just get started on this stuff. Also, I just filmed a tutorial for this makeup that you can't see that well. Okay, so I've made some progress. I've put all the bathroom decor back, pulled a few more pieces for the bedroom, just like some finishing touches, bits, and a couple things I put away in there, and some laundry and stuff, and make the room pretty. But I did dust get the one shelf in the dining room actually done and the top of the china cabinet is dusted and kind of decorated. I feel like something's missing. I think I'm gonna get like some pompous grass or something maybe to put up there in a couple of days. I feel like I need something up there. Floral? I, I kind of don't know. <laughs> what do I want to do at the top of the china cabinet? I kind of like it empty but then it looks kind of lonely. Eh, it's a work in progress. We'll see if it changes. I do eventually need to take everything out of the china cabinet, kind of dust and like wipe it down because some of it's looking a little dirty. Like the glass is looking a little like foggy on some stuff and um, of course the dining table just needs to be cleaned. So I think I'm going to start just kind of putting decor back in the living room and where I want it. I need to wipe down the entertainment center and dust that. I think before I get started on that I'm going to start sorting through all these books next to me and see which ones I'll be like keeping and what's going to go in the office what books go to the studio and then what books go back in the entertainment center like inside it and ones that are display books making good progress like I'm like midway through and it's kind of like what do I do now kind of thing so it's just kind of going through what's left and deciding what I want to do with what and yeah so I'm just gonna get started on these books and play like, some music and just concentrate on that because <laughs> this is it's a lot and I think some of these can definitely be donated and gotten rid of I don't need this many books. I just don't. The uh, donation boxes have definitely grown. So eventually I gotta get to a Goodwill and drop all that off. I got probably donation stuff in the bedroom as well that needs to 
he donated clothing wise. Uh, dear pumpkin mulchin. She's mulchin. And yeah, so I'm gonna sit down here on the floor and get to it. Also, this uh, method daily wood cleaner smells so nice. It's uh, the almond scent. Uh, it smells like the floor one. <laughs> I really like it. And I feel like this little bottle's going a long way. I tear through those little pledge multi surface ones. The one that's like the lavender scent or the wood scent. I love the wood scent. But oh my god, I cleaned the house once and I've used a whole can just about. <sighs> they're, they're kind of not good value. So, but uh, I think this one's hold up really well and it's cleans grease and grime, uh, plant based wood cleaner, almond scent. I think this is like a clean brand. I'm not sure. I'm gonna say it is. I like the way it smells. I feel like it does a good job cleaning stuff, so. Okay, I'm gonna get started trying to put stuff back in here real quick and hopefully we get it done. So, oh, that's some bad lighting there. I mean, the, I, I cannot with lighting today apparently. Just all the bad lighting. Anyway, so I've got these two cabinets pretty much sorted out how I want them. I've just hid like books I don't care about, like behind the other books. Uh, what else? And I've got this whole center bottom part nice and clean and dusted and organized. And I realized I had an empty cabinet on the other side that I can just put stuff that I'm not that don't want to put out right now and books that I'm not that excited about anymore for the time being in that side cabinet as well. So that works out pretty good. So I'm going to try starting to dust the tower portion and the top part and uh, continue on. But let me kind of show you what we have accomplished here. Uh, yes, love the lighting. Alright, so just got some books, 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 old bottle, which you can't really see because the lighting's bad. And the kitty. And then some more books and a box with my grandpa's stuff in it. And a kitty. In the center section, I just put two books backwards. Why does that look dusty? Where's my rag? Anyway, we got this middle section with a couple of books and then a nice bowl. Uh, this, this lighting is not it, but yeah. And then on this side in the cabinet, we have just my, my huge collection of old Bibles that are family. Ones that go back generations. I have so many. So, so many. And all the way down, and then just an old bottle there too, but that's all super insanely old. Like, I'm afraid to move them. They will just disintegrate in my hands. So, I ought to get like a shadow box or something to keep those in. Something that can kind of protect them, huh? I don't know, let me know down below if you know any ways to preserving, preserving old books like that. So I could keep them in this, you know, glass cabinet so they don't get touched or moved. It's like, I didn't even move them I just clean around them because they literally just start disintegrating as I touch them so yes, that side is dusted and then that's all you really see well aside from the lovely reflection but you get the gist so yeah I got this empty cabinet over here I can just put extra stuff in and store and then we can get started on this top part and yeah we're just listening to Chelsea right now okay Onward. 